Good morning guys. I just caught up on my day because I woke up late because I was up until 3 a.m. So yeah, it's 1.23 and I just caught up. But I not exactly sure what I'm gonna do today, but I did finish the Mickey puzzle last night. Um, let me flip this around. All I had done in the morning was the edge pieces and I finished finished it, pretty much worked on it all day. So, the only one I have left is The Lady and the Tramp, which I really like. It's just my sister said that one might be missing two pieces. But I'm going to try and do it uh, within the next two days before we put up the tree. And I'm going to put this one back in the box. Apparently I need to charge this camera and I might uh, go take a walk outside. I haven't actually been out in a couple of days. It's another cloudy day and it's just been kind of hot. Yeah, it's Florida. It gets hot in November, but... I haven't really felt like being outside much, but I kind of feel like taking a short walk, so I might do that. Um, and yeah, I was thinking about something last night that's pretty crazy because um, I was changing my Dexcom and it died a day early, but that's fine. Most of them haven't even gotten that far for me, so that's uh, fine. Um, so I took a shower and everything, but then I was thinking about the fact that it's been about six months since, uh, it's been about seven months since the first little bits of, um, like learning about, I was having sugar problems, that was in April. Um, it's been six months since I got the diagnosis at, um, or what we thought was a diagnosis at uh, the hospital here. And it's been five months since I got the study done in the ICU and got the official diagnosis. But um, I was just thinking about the fact that, I don't know, for me personally, first of all, it's super crazy, you know, of all the curveballs that 2021 has thrown, I think that was one of the most unexpected, um, something that I never really thought about uh, ever. And it was something that was hard for me to accept at first, but I was thinking over the past like five, six months since learning everything. And I don't know, I just feel like I've come a long way with it. Um, when I first got the meter, which I have all this whole thing vlogged, but when I first got the meter and everything, I was petrified. And I remember saying to people uh, before that have sugar issues, like, I could never do that to myself. How do you do that? And then you learn to do it. And now it's literally, not a big deal at all. It's not even a deal. It's just, it's super, super easy. And when I first started with the Dexcom stuff, I was, the first two were fine because that was placed by Endo um, at the hospital. But after that is when I had to do it to myself and I was petrified, even more petrified than the meter stuff because I, it's a little bit intimidating when you first start doing it. And, um, now I feel like I've gotten much better with that. I will admit I freak out. Uh, I did have a freak out at one point when the whole blood gushing out of the sensor thing happened, but that's only happened once. Um, and I've learned how to use it. I've learned how to, <clears throat> what, what makes my sugar drop for the most part. Sometimes it's unpredictable, but for the most part, I've learned what makes my sugar drop, what makes my sugar rise, what makes everything go, you know, what to do to treat it, when I need to go to the hospital, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I just, it was just crazy for me looking back over the last six months and thinking how far I've come between then and now. And also, uh, the emotional side of it, there was a part of me that didn't want to accept it because there is a chance, and this would be amazing, there is a chance that once my weight gets back up to a more normal, uh, level, that it could be go away or be much less severe that would be incredible there's a much higher chance that i'm gonna have to deal with this for the rest of my life because it's from the cf and the pancreas and dumping too much insulin and there's a slight chance uh as well that would be not great in the coming years um my because it's insulin sensitivity right now it's just the opposite of uh, like i have too much insulin but there's a chance in the coming years that it could develop into a more CFRD type situation, which could be insulin resistance, and then I'm dealing with highs and lows. I already have highs, but my pancreas does its job too well and brings it back down. But there's a chance in the years it could develop into that. But um, 
So that was a lot to process mentally as well and just getting frustrated, you know, low, low sh blood sugar does not feel very good. And, um, you know, some things that I didn't lose, but I can't just eat a bunch of carbs and then go for a run, you know, that's not going to end very well for me. So it was something that mentally I had to process as well that, okay, this is added on to already what's a tough, you know, CF stuff. But at the end of the day, I look back at the last six months and I think, I don't know, I'm just thankful for how far I've come and that it's not something that takes over my life or my mind, you know, it's just there. It's like doing treatments or taking pills or, you know, antibiotics when I need them. It's just there. It's just part of CF. And, you know, I'm also thankful that I've been on Trikafta for almost two years. Uh, it'll be two years in February of 2022. And that has made a huge improvement to my life. Uh, you know, adding the blood sugar stuff on, I don't think Trikafta did that, but adding the blood sugar stuff on would have been much harder without Trikafta than with Trikafta. Uh, with Trikafta, I've gone down to, when I'm not sick, one treatment a day. Uh, my lung function, last time I checked, was 85, I think. I, um, I was in the 60s and 50s before Trikafta. And Trikafta came at the perfect time for me, actually, because Orcambi had been, you know, took me up to 80 something, but then I was on Orcambi for uh, five years. And, almost five years. It was like four and a half. And anyway, it was coming at the time of my lung function was starting another decline. And um, I was, every time I would go to clinic, I was just seeing my lung function be like 70, then 60, then 50, you know, and I was like mid 50s. And um, then here comes uh, Trikafta and I'm back up to 80 something. So anyway, I'm just thankful that, you know, since taking Trikafta, I don't cough my brains out anymore or anything like that. And, uh, I don't know, I was just thinking about last night that, yeah, CF sucks sometimes and the blood sugar stuff sucks sometimes, but in other ways I've come so far and I am thankful for that. You know, it is the week of Thanksgiving and we're in my turkey, you know, my 5k 2019. Someday I want to do another 5k, <laughs> but, um, I'm just thankful, I'm thankful that, um, the health stuff that this year is thrown at me is not taking over um, my mind anymore. So, just something to think about. But I am, like I said, going to go take a walk. Short little walk. It is going to rain later. And then probably start on that last puzzle. You know, and then there is this. that like, gets a little annoying sometimes, but I'm also used to it. I should do something about that before I go take a walk. Technically, it's not low yet, but if I walk while it's doing that, it will be. But, you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Like I said, that used to frustrate the heck out of me. But, all I have to do is go drink an apple juice, wait like 10 or 15 minutes, and then I can walk. It's not the end of the world. Camera's charging, but while I'm waiting for that to come up, I am going to sort... I already just ripped up Mookie. I'm going to sort... I can't do this with one hand. Hang on. I'm going to sort the last puzzle of 2021. Uh, I packaged up Pooh. I packaged up Mickey. My sister had already packaged up Tangled. And this is what we have left. Um, Lady and the Tramp. Uh, that one. The one she can't promise has all its pieces. But we'll see. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, oh well. But... This is the final puzzle of 2021, the 10th one, Mickey was nine, and uh, it's fun uh, because in two days where this currently is, there's going to be a Christmas tree, and I don't really have anywhere else to put this, and I also am out of puzzles after this. So, here's to the, the last puzzle of 2021. There's a random little seagull up here. I guess he stuck around. He was here a couple days ago. Seagulls. Humidity, 80 degrees, and reindeer. It's a Florida Christmas. Looks like there's... I see things popping up, I don't see any fish. You gonna move, dude? Or you're just gonna sit there? I don't trust seagulls. They're not very nice birds. No offense. Okay. 
Bye. Yeah. So we've got those. We've got him. We've got the penguin and I've got another reindeer and a wreath on that tree back there. It's that time of year. I mean, it is, but November 21st, so almost a month and only five days until Thanksgiving. I have to say, rebound lows suck. I was outside, started feeling off. The fact that it's 71 tells me that it's probably heading down because I'm feeling the symptoms. But, like I said, not the end of the world. Just means more juice is in order. Well, as it turns out, Mickey's going to be the last puzzle of 2021. I can deal with a couple missing pieces, but I didn't even get very far, and I'm missing seven edge pieces. Now, if I'm missing seven edge pieces, because I know it's 90 around the edges, then there's probably a lot more missing. So, I guess we'll put it back in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and upload today's vlog and then probably play a game after or something. I'm not sure. It feels like a slow day even though I got up early, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for puzzles for this year. Um, I was not going to attempt to puzzle with seven missing edge pieces, which she warned me probably was missing pieces, which is why I waited to the last one. But that makes a grand total of nine puzzles this year. And give me one second, I'm gonna add up the uh, pieces. That's a nice even number. So I've done a total of 4,500 puzzle pieces this year. That's two 750s and, what was it, three, five uh, 500s. So if I could have done that one, that would have been a great total of 5,000, but <laughs> I'll take uh, 4,500. 4, so anyway, but that's it for that. And soon, two days, Christmas tree. And uh, so with that, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.